My name is Willy Smits. I've been working in Indonesia here for the last 35 years for the environment and a better future for our planet and for the orangutans. You don't need words when you talk to animals. You can just see in their eyes and you can feel the connections and actually words make it sometimes harder. Sometimes you just need to follow this gut feeling and it can tell you an awful lot. These orangutans, when they look into your eyes, they figure you out within a minute who you are, what you are, they look deep into your soul. People kept uh, catching these orangutans and selling them. So we had to go to the root problem, which is deforestation and the palm oil and the loss of these beautiful rainforests for illegal uh, logging. There is, through corruption, some oil palm companies, partly foreign owned, are cheating the local people out of their land by bribing certain leaders of them. They are cutting down a virgin rainforest, which is strictly forbidden against the law. And they are being supported by permits from the government here. And the army comes and threatens the local people that stand up for their own land rights and they are thrown in jail. So what we passed is a crime scene and a scene of great, great injustice. I basically came to the conclusion the only people that can save that forest are the ones that are living around that forest. But in order to make it worth for them, that forest needs to have a value. Only then the orangutans can also remain living there as part of that ecosystem. There is no single custodian. We are all custodians because we're all interlinked and none of us can do it without the other. What I try to do is combining things from different disciplines. I'm always looking out of the box. If I hit a wall, well, either that wall has to come down or I have to go around it. It's these approaches that keep me on my feet and keep me going. If you don't shoot, you will never hit a target. So I just have to shoot. If I achieve it or not, without trying, there's no hope. Well, the reforestation schemes that we have set up have contributed to improving rainfall, the flow of water to the fields, stabilizing climate, bringing in a variety of products that can secure an income so that you don't put all your eggs in one basket. We have created jobs from the reforestation, the wood for house building, and in various ways have demonstrated in quantitative terms that yes, taking care of nature is taking care of yourself. How to ensure that all this hard work is not for nothing. I've been investing in people. I've been trying to motivate 1,150 Indonesian foresters, maybe some 50 PhD students. And many of them still keep the principles that I taught them, or even though they're now on the level of director general, they're president directors of big state enterprises. We need to invest in young people, give them the right mindset. If you study ecology, you're looking at the most efficient system that exists. And the economy is just such a small abstract of the processes that run in nature. So economy should learn from the efficiency of nature, from these wonderful systems where everything is connected. If you can do that, there might be some sustainability for the future. Don't gamble with our planet. Take wise decisions and don't go only for the short term. Dare to be different. Followers are never gonna change this world and this world is in need of some serious change. What 
would I like to leave behind? A better world. That's all I want. A world that we can share, where the inequality is not so big, and where we understand that we only can make it all together.